Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, uh, it is just freezing here in Pennsylvania. And what this kind of means is that we need to be protecting our fig trees throughout the winter time, especially our in-ground trees. We've already covered the potted trees, but we still have to go over a few methods of winter protection. One method is the cut and cover method, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's an update to that method. We talked about that in a few videos in the past couple weeks. Tomorrow's video, I wanna show you guys a, a different method of winter protection. And then sometime down the road, we're gonna show you guys how to wrap the tree. Um, and then of course in the spring, we'll show you guys how this is all uncovered and what is you know, needed to be done and all that. Um, but because it's now getting below 20 here in the Philadelphia area, um, that's just too low. Um, I would say around 20, everything's gonna be fine. Around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Very few varieties will start to take damage. They certainly won't like it. Um, at around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, about half or 50% of the varieties that exist may take some damage to some degree. Around five degrees Fahrenheit, I would guesstimate about 15 to 20% of the varieties that exist can handle about five degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, they'll probably take some damage here and there. It probably won't kill them all the way but around zero degrees Fahrenheit, there's very few varieties, if any, that will survive zero. So it's kind of a pretty big jump if you think about it. It's a pretty big jump from zero to five and five to 10 and 10 to 15. So we need to be covering these or protecting our in-ground trees, especially if you're in like a zone seven. You know, we're right on the edge of success and failure, but we're more so on, on uh, on the side of failure here. So the cut and cover method, as we mentioned in the past, really is just cutting these trees down all the way to six to 12 inches. We throw on this, um, this straw that helps insulate the tree. Then we cover it with a tarp. And we need to cover this with a tarp. One, it's an extra layer of insulation. Two, it helps keep the straw dry. Keeping that straw dry is really important um, to, to make sure that we don't rot the bark of our fig trees. If we rot the bark, we kill the tree. So that's a really key important point here. Then we need to tie the, the tarp down or weigh it down. I'm using cinder blocks, either ornamental things. I also have bags of soil. And the update part portion of this video to this method is pretty simple. That wind is making this a lot less um, insulative than I had imagined it would. And not that this isn't working. I think this is definitely keeping everything above 15. Even when it's uh, zero degrees outside, this method will work wonders for getting these trees through the winter time. However, there is air that's getting underneath these tarps. And because there's airflow underneath here, I mean, not the most amount of air, but it's definitely not being as insulative as you would think and you would, you would expect. Because of that airflow, that's really preventing this tarp from doing a whole lot. Yes, it does add another layer. Yes, it does heat up during the day. But really, the, the straw underneath is really the key here. And that's really the big money point, the big success point. I had a thought that maybe in the... Maybe I'd uncover these trees and... I could maybe get away with in the, in the future years just covering what, them with a tarp. And that is just completely untrue. That would be, that would totally not work. You need the straw. Um, and over here in this section, it's very, very windy. You can see the tarp moving right now because there is a ton of wind in this location that gets underneath these tarps and it's so strong, depending on the, the day, that it actually was lifting up this tarp, even though I had wood and soil and, <laughs> and more cinder blocks, even rocks over here, it just wasn't doing the job. Um, in fact, the tarp was really blowing away. I came out here this morning after a very windy night and it was 17 degrees Fahrenheit. This whole section over here was completely lifted up. Um, thank goodness the, the straw was there still protecting the tree but um yeah this is just not as easy as you would think it would be um or as as i think as uh 
as problem free, I should say, as you think it would be. So we need to work this out a little bit, right? It's still a work in progress. I need to add more material here to weigh this tarp down. I think ideally what would be even better is line the sides with wood chips or gravel or stone. That way you can really prevent all that air from getting into or underneath the tarp but also using heavier materials here. These little rocks, these ornamental rocks, they don't really do a whole lot. Um, even this wood, for some reason, certain areas, and I figured out what those areas are of this, this thing over here, like this portion of the, of the tarp is pretty loose underneath this piece of wood. So there's portions of this that we have to weigh down and we have to mess with and refine. And then otherwise we'll be we'll be all right you know this is going to work out really well i'm going to show you guys again the results of how this all worked out in the spring it's not the, i'm not the first one to be doing this i will say though that i want to shout i'll give a shout out to susie out there she was the one who told me put the straw underneath the tarp because i had figured i want to put the straw on top of the tarp and uh, i quickly realized after she telling me the opposite of what I should do that she was right so shout out to Susie I also want to thank you guys for watching this one um, I want to announce that we do have some fig cuttings on fig bid that are for sale um, a lot of you guys asked me throughout the entire year well this is the time um, also we're gonna have a, a discount code for the holidays happy holidays everybody 10% uh, off your order just use the promotional code ROSS. Message me on FigBid with that promotional code before you pay, before you pay, and I will adjust the invoice for you and you can get 10% off. I've actually already reduced the prices on a number of varieties. A lot of it is buy it now. Very few of it is any is an auction style like eBay. So I think a lot of you guys will be pleased check out those auctions check us out on facebook instagram and twitter i'm going inside guys it's freezing we'll see you for tomorrow's video all right take care